Welcome back. It's time for our big stories. And uh, we're getting into, Sweetie Abochi and yours truly, we're getting into this next belt where the Ministry of Education is launching a full-scale investigation into allegations of supply of expired food items to some senior high schools in the country following an expose by Samuel Okujato Blackwa, Member of Parliament for North Tong and Chairman of Government's Assurance Committee. Well, this morning we have an interaction with the PRO for the Education Ministry. Uh, Kwesi Kwateng joins the conversation. A very good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, Benjamin. How are you? I'm well. How about you, sir? I'm doing great. Great. We also have Sweetie Abochi here, so both of us will be fielding uh, questions to you. But uh, just to kickstart the conversation, how much do you know about this latest expose and these claims about, you know, uh, food that may not necessarily be, uh, be fit for consumption being sent to senior high schools? What, what can you share with us? Oh, it came to our attention uh, yesterday. Uh, apparently, my boss was not around, but I had to run it by him. It so happens that it also came to his attention, also through uh, your media platforms. Uh, so, uh, until Honorable Okunye Tua Blapa made those claims of social media, uh, the ministry was not correct. And of course, even if you uh, listen to the narrative and account that he did, you realize that uh, going by that, and assuming without admitting that. Uh, the Mr. Kwate, the, 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 line, the line is cracking up a bit. Can you just reposition a little for me and, and speak up? Is it better? I think it's a bit better. Yes. Please go ahead. Uh, I'm saying that even if you listen to the narrative or account of Mr. Blackman, uh, you can clearly know that uh, assuming without admitting that the allegations he raised were valid, it was obviously done at the blind side of the ministry. Uh, so it came to our attention just yesterday. And I uh, remember, in terms of even food supply and distribution, uh, the Ministry of Education has no such mandate or responsibility. Uh, it's the responsibility of buffer stock. They deal with our suppliers and later uh, bring invoices to the ministry. We verify those invoices and then the ministry makes payments to the same matter. So we were not in the loan until yesterday when the matter came up. But of course, when it came up, uh, the minister has given some directives, which include investigating him and also making sure that we get to the bottom of this matter. Okay, that, that's interesting. My, my little bit to you before Sweetie Abachi comes in, though. You say the ministry is not directly, doesn't have direct oversight, and I agree with you. That is the situation. Buffer stock does. But once it is under education, you have an overarching oversight, even as far as buffer stock is concerned, to ensure that they are doing the right thing. I remember the time where there were claims on, you know, buffer stock about non-payment and all of that. Eventually, you had to wade in as an education ministry. And if there is any harm to any student related to such an incident, you know that people will say education ministry. So in the end, um, it filters back to you. How much responsibility can we expect you moving forward to take on a matter like this, this specific matter? Yes, ultimately. I mean, the, it rests on the, on the Ministry of Education. Are you able to hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you, sir. Yeah, ultimately, uh, I mean, the backstop goes on with the, with, the, with the Ministry of Education. Uh, but I think the, the fact that this narrative should also be put in a right or uh, proper context. If you are a supplier and you are asked to supply, let's say, uh, a box of rice to schools, and you present uh, the items as sponsor. And, uh, I mean, to the contrary, it is not a fact. I mean, objectively, which system is there for anybody to uh, be able to detect that? If you, for instance, go to the shop, Malcolm, and buy rice, and expire this, everything shows that the rice is also. Uh, it's, it's almost impossible for you to detect. But, but, there, but was some, the there, there was some intentionality about this. The rice was rebagged. It was 
rebagged. People uh, knew not, the rice had expired. Sure in they they rebagged. Uh, Benjamin, can you wait? I'm not sure that is in contention. Mm. This is assuming without admitting that what uh, the claim or the narrative by Mr. Queen is true. Nobody is disputing that. But clearly, this is a clear similar activity that has been undertaken at the blind side of the ministry. If you go and sit in your room as a supplier, uh, together with, say, uh, a staff of Bafasol, and repackage rice, and distribute to schools as also. The matron sitting there obviously will not know that this is a repack of life. So let, let, let us also not debate on the fact. They, this is a clear thing of assuming is, is even fair. I, I want to be um, empathy should be on assuming without admitting that it's true. This is a clear case of people who, who were uh, in, in their in their in their secret places had to uh, take advantage of of of, of of the opportunity that they had to work with government and scam uh, 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 the national stock on government at the end of the day. It is not a case that maybe the ministry was aware that they are rebargained. Okay, Kwezi Kwaten, I have to interject at this point. So this isn't the first time we are catch, catching wind of something like this. This year alone, I think, I think in around May thereabouts, FDA discovered some expired food items in Zwarungu Senior High School storeroom. As far back as 2018, there was a similar incident in some Brongahafu schools who expressed the same concern about expired products from suppliers. What measures have you put in place as a ministry to ensure that this doesn't become an expose before you jump on it to fix the problem, but you're actually checking that there's food that we are feeding our students in senior high schools are not expired? What measures do you have in place to check these incidents uh, from happening? I, I, I want to understand, first of all, even the import of this question, particularly the, the reference that you brought. Because if there are no measures, how will even if in the first place uh, FDA or agencies responsible for detecting it even find out that a whole census exists for us to even? Well, if you're checking, then this this it's issues like these will not come to light for us to be launching investigations and trying to backtrack and where did it go wrong and all that. So the question is, what are you doing to ensure it doesn't even happen again? You call me for an interview. Ask a question one at a time, <laughs> and let me give a response to it. Go ahead. I don't think there's any right for us, there's any good for, for it to appear that we are banking on. For, for the end of the day, for who? The facts are there. The facts, uh, what Madame I mean, said was, I mean, has been read to all of us. Unless, of course, you are saying these facts have been verified and they are true. I had an option of, of addressing this. Is, I do want to hear you, so please reposition and try again. I, you, you're, you're breaking up a bit. Okay. I'm driving, that's why. Are you able to hear me now? Yes, but if you could park, it would be um, good for us to Quasi, hear Quasi, you. We, uh, want, we want you to be safe, so <laughs> please. So, maybe we may have to. Maybe we No, we can't okay. hear you. All right. I, I mean, we'll, we'll have to... We'll have to Reconnect? Maybe make it very short because we also don't want to compromise. Uh, Kwesi, can you hear me? I can hear you, but are you able to hear me? We can hear you. Go ahead with that and then we'll wrap shortly with just uh, concluding thoughts because we don't want you, you know, uh, on the move. Look, I, 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 I'm saying that as a these are allegations that have been left by the uh, We do not want to dispute it without even providing any basis. As of now, we've got to touch with Mapastock to provide a response to it. But let me say emphatically that the ministry does not countenance on this. And at no point has the ministry accepted it. And I mean, this clearly, assuming it's true, was done on the blind side of the ministry. And it's not an element of criminality. But the assurance that we are giving is that as soon as possible, We've commenced even investigating into this matter. And the ministry is going to communicate uh, to Ghanaians uh, on the issues that were identified so far as this matter is concerned. Uh, but, I mean, are you able to still hear me? Are you able to still hear me? 
Yes, we can hear you. Okay. I don't know if I'm to repeat or you heard me. We, we heard what you said. But, but I, out of curiosity, I also want to just chip in. Uh, Sweetie will continue from there. So with, with what actions we can expect, assuming all of this is true, and again, this is not the first time we're seeing something like this, what likely punishment? Mm. Because if, if there had been punitive measures, punitive enough, people would, yes, you would say that people may still try, but people would be more afraid. We're endangering the lives of young people. Uh, how, how much will you push for punitive measures to be brought I, to bear I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I, these I, people are, are I, proven guilty? Uh, uh, Benjamin, Benjamin, are you able to hear me? I hear you, sir. I'm not sure it is fair to run inclusive and situate your questions within a context of having concluded the debate. I'm not sure. It will be a two-minute position. Allegations have been made. They that, are that is why it's quite a, I say if, if it is proven. Why, why would we speculate when you have a clear opportunity of addressing uh, the facts based on its merit? Allegations have been made. I have told you that we've gotten in touch with Mapa. And Mapa stuff has shown us that they are going to give a response, of course, I mean, to the Ministry of Education this morning. I think it is, it is only right for us to speak uh, within a context of facts. Mm. Uh, when, when questions are, are structured in a way, that suggests that a conclusion has already been made. But, but, but are you I'm suggesting sure. we can't go back in time and also point to what has happened? Hello, Kwezi. Okay, we have I think we must lost... connect with him in our subsequent bulletins to yeah, get to, and, um, and also to get clearer yeah. a clearer connection. I, I see he took exception to your going back in time to bring up these issues, but it's not out of any mischief. It is also born out of the fact that if they have happened a number of times, and this wouldn't be the first, the second, the no. third, it's been happening, yeah. right? This is just the latest bit. And if people have been proven in the past to want to milk the system, make money, uh, as the Bible will say, reap where they have not sown, yeah. then there, there are problems. How, what have we done to really stem the tide of same? And that's why I was talking about punitive, mm. you know, yeah. measures. You know. But anyway, this is where we are. Hopefully the investigation will bring to light what really happened there and then we can hold those accountable to book. But we, there's a lot more coming your way on the AM show. Um, Let's take a break and we'll be back with more. Before we take that break, though, Kwesi Kwarten is back online and he wants to conclude. I mean, it's only fair that we hear him clearer now. So, um, Mr. Kwarten, go ahead. What's your concluding uh, remark? <laughs> Are you able to hear me? Yes. Hopefully you've parked so we can hear you better now. All right. Okay. So, I think for, for us, what I was trying to put across is that we take these allegations very seriously. Mm. And at no point are we uh, going to uh, protect anyone if uh, it is uh, established that the allegations are valid and are true. Uh, in the meantime, we assure Ghanaian parents and, of course, the general public of our commitment to ensure the safety of our students in school. Uh, but I think, I mean, based on the, the right process and even the principles of natural justice, it is only proper that we hear from also the institutions that are involved and assurances that we will communicate uh, whatever findings to the general public. Uh, even on Monday, we are making plans to meet our FDA, uh, hopefully the company, uh, Matrons, to be able to get to the end of this matter. Uh, we will not uh, countenance or compromise on, on any findings, uh, because our priority, first of all, is to protect uh, the safety and well-being of students. And so we take uh, all the concerns that have been raised in good faith, except to say that even in our discussions of it, particularly within the media space, uh, we must not also be so hasty in running conclusions that will, in the end, tend to even uh, suggest that 
uh, uh, or, or make a, a, a suggestive conclusion that may, at the end of the day, compromise even the whole excellence of the investigation. But right. rest assured, the, the well-being and safety of students is our, uh, our concern. And Kwesi, don't, we don't intend to keep you here any l All right. Thank you so much for um, putting this in perspective. Kwesi Kwateng, we're grateful for your time. He is PRO of the Education Ministry, and he had this interaction uh, with us. <laughs>